Hi Antioch, uh, I hope you're all doing well. Um, greetings from here, uh, from us here in Berlin. Um, and uh, yeah, um, uh, we, we again just really appreciate your love and support and prayers uh, while we've been here. Uh, we really care about you guys and uh, you are always in our prayers. So um, yeah, we, we, we all send our love from here. Um, and I wanted to just share with you a little uh, about something that God's placed on my heart. Um, sometimes I, I end up, actually end up uh, thinking a lot and uh, sometimes um, I overthink, you know. Uh, some, but uh, sometimes I think that um, because I hear the voice of God and the Holy Spirit spiritually in my heart, um, I have to I have to think spiritually and, and picture myself uh, be, um, being in my, in my spirit to remain in my spirit. Uh, so, for example, when I'd hear the uh, the Holy Spirit tell me to talk to someone, I'd go into my spirit and I'd uh, picture doing this from my spirit. Uh, or uh, when I'd hear him say to to pray for somebody, I'd uh, picture myself going into my spirit and praying for that person. Um, and the reason I, I did this was to avoid doing anything out of my flesh um, uh, so I could walk by the Spirit. Um, but recently the Holy Spirit has, uh, has been speaking to me and he revealed to me that the way that God speaks is spiritual. He'll speak to my heart, um, but the application of it is very practical. The way that God speaks is very spiritual, but the way that He, um, that uh, but the application of it is very practical. So when the when when you obey the Holy Spirit uh, and what He tells you to do, you are working in the Spirit. And uh, I just want to uh, talk to you about two things that I uh, uh, that come out of uh, God's instruction, and it's uh, firstly the simplicity of His instruction. And secondly, the effects of doing that one instruction. And what I notice here, um, especially in the Bible, is that um, uh, Jairus, he, he's, a, he's a guy that um, uh, is, uh, is basically his daughter is very sick and, um, and, is, and uh, his, uh, the people from his household, they come to him at, while he's still with Jesus. Um, because his daughter is very sick at home, and while he's with Jesus, they they tell him that she's died, and not to bother the master anymore. And to this, Jesus, uh, he, he, uh, hearing this, he says in uh, Luke chapter uh, eight, verse fifty, it says, um, Jesus said to Jairus, "Don't be afraid, just believe, and she will be healed." There's another moment as well, uh, which is um, really, uh, uh, really well demonstrated here. It was um, when the, with the uh, centurion, the Roman centurion, and um, uh, and he he has that that servant of his who's very sick, and the the, the centurion replies to Jesus, the uh, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. So from these two verses, you see that this word "just" and um, and the and it's uh, the the word here that is is used for "just" is is also used um, in, in in the Greek and it means "monon" and by definition it means "merely" or "only" um, and it's a it's an adverb so it's it's going to be used with uh, the the verb uh, or the action to, to uh, which is done. So when Jesus tells Jairus just believe he is actually saying the only thing that's the only thing you need to do when the centurion tells jesus just say the word and my servant will be healed he believed that the only thing he needed to do um, was tell jesus to say the word and his servant will be healed so the only which um, goes with these actions in both cases implies the simplicity of the action there is nothing else they needed to do. They only needed to do that one thing. When God gives us instructions, it won't be long or complicated. On the contrary, it will be just one thing, and it will be something that is very practical. 
It may seem impossible at first, but it's, uh, it's definitely practical and there will be a way to do it. Um, when I think back at all the times when God has told me to do something, um, the, uh, the, uh, there were simple steps that could be accomplished if I just simply obeyed and did them. So if he, if he had told me to um, walk to the door, I didn't have to get into my spirit to walk to the door, um, to feel as though I was walking by the spirit. I just had to simply walk to the door. For example, ever since moving, uh, ever since moving here to Berlin, uh, God has been telling me one practical instruction, uh, which is to learn German. So I've been, um, I've been just learning as much as I can, uh, just uh, practicing all the, the different uh, grammar um, and really trying to improve uh, and practice it in, on a daily basis. Um, when Ulrich was born, it was a little more difficult to do um, and to dedicate specific time to uh, learning German, but I would learn it on and off. Um, I've, whilst living here, I've also become uh, increasingly uh, aware of a lot of the homeless people that that I see. I see a lot of uh, I see a lot of homeless people on on the trains when I'm travelling. I see uh, I see them in front of uh, my bank when they they open the door and they uh, they uh, hold up they hold hold out their cup um, to get change. Um, and and I and I and I think you know maybe I could do something for them uh, maybe. Uh, God has something in store for them, and I and I just pray and ask God, what, would you like me to do something for them? And and He just says no. However, whenever, uh, however, the only thing I know He wants me to do is just learn German. It, it's not a complicated thing. It's not something I I um, I, I uh, uh, that's a lot of steps. It's only just one thing, and He wants, and He's just keeping it simple. And so that's his instructions for me. And so I've come to realize that that's the way that he speaks is in simple instruction, instructions. And secondly, it, it, we look at the, the effects of doing that one thing, that one instruction. The instruction and action that Jairus and the centurion did carried heavy after effects. Um, Jairus's daughter was awoken from death the centurion's servant was healed at that very hour. When we do the instructions that God gives us, it will cause massive waves. Jesus asks us to simply do them. There are also many cases in the Bible where, um, where God gives uh, one simple instruction. Um, like, for example, when uh, the angel uh, of the Lord told Philip, to go south to the road, the desert road, um, that goes down from uh, Jerusalem to, to Gaza. He didn't know the next steps, but he knew one instruction. And on his way, he made the Ethiopian eunuch, who eventually baptized, uh, who he eventually baptized, and the Spirit of the Lord took him away on that spot. We also see that simple instruction when God, um, that God gave to Abraham, which said, go to a land that I will show you. And after he, he took that step, um, the Lord then appeared to Abraham. You will never know uh, the effects of what is to come until you take that first step um, to follow that single instruction from the Lord. So uh, this is a, a short uh, sermon, but I really wanted to encourage you. And I pray that this, um, this helps you to just follow the simple instructions which, lo which the Lord shows you today. It's very simple, but, um, but, uh, and it, 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 but it may be uh, very hard to do, but it will be a simple instruction. And with the Holy Spirit, he will help us. But I, I hope this blesses you and you feel encouraged. Lots of love from us in Berlin. Take care. Bye-bye.